Hey everyone, Philadelphia is consistently ranked as one of the most walkable cities in America. And if you're thinking about moving to Philly and you're all about the walkable lifestyle where you can grab your coffee, hit the gym, and get to work without ever thinking about a car, then this is the video for you. I'm about to take you through my top five most walkable neighborhoods right here in Philadelphia. So stay tuned and maybe you'll find your next neighborhood to call home. Hey everyone, this is Chris Furman and welcome to my channel, Living in Center City, Philadelphia. If you're hoping to make a lifestyle change and are trying to figure out what it's like to live in Center City, Philly, then this is the channel for you. So make sure to tap that subscribe button below and click that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified each and every time we put out a brand new video for you. We actually get a lot of folks that are reaching out to us looking to relocate to the Center City, Philly area and we love helping them out on their journey. So if you're thinking about making a move and you have any questions about the particular neighborhoods here, the condo buildings, the streets, the market, anything at all, in particular the lifestyle, just reach out. Just send me an email to chris at mechris.com. All right, let's dive in. All right, so how did I come up with my top five before we dive into them? What was my criteria for walkability? Because there are so many amazing neighborhoods here in Philadelphia to call home. And it's very hotly debated which are the best neighborhoods in the city, but how did I pick my top five? What was my criteria? So let's talk about that. So for me, to call an area walkable, you really have to have obviously convenient access to food. That's both grocery stores and restaurants. You need to be able to walk to restaurants, walk to coffee shops, cafes, but also be able to get to a grocery store. Now, if you do delivery for your groceries, that's totally fine. And obviously that doesn't have to be a particular criteria, but I only chose neighborhoods that have access to grocery stores, either chains or some local boutiques in their areas. Generally, I lean heavily towards a chain grocery store versus just a local boutique because the boutiques can be a lot more expensive and probably not have most of what you need. Another set of criteria that I looked at was public transportation access. Of course, you do not necessarily need public transportation if you can walk everywhere in your neighborhood, but some people will need it for work or for getting out of the city for particular things, maybe to see the family or what have you. So I considered public transportation when I looked at these particular neighborhoods. I also considered green space or open space when looking at these neighborhoods. So being able to walk to a park, open space, you know, river views to enjoy the weather outside. Things like that was also a criteria that I looked at. All right, let's dive into my neighborhoods. Now these aren't necessarily an order of walkability. However, this one is the most walkable neighborhood in all of the city, in my opinion, and that's Rittenhouse Square. Rittenhouse Square obviously has a lot going on for it. It's one of the most iconic and popular neighborhoods in this city, but you're gonna fit all the criteria that I mentioned. So you're gonna have a ton of access to food, restaurants, coffee shops, cafes, but you're also gonna have grocery stores here like Trader Joe's and local boutiques like the Rittenhouse Market. Um, there's gonna be a ton of other options as well. You've got the farmer's market on the square that happens here where they bring in food from lots of other places. There's Amish people here that bring in food, like organic stuff, natural stuff, lots of great options for you. So if that's your thing, if you really want convenient access to all of that, it's really hard to beat Rittenhouse. Rittenhouse is also extremely convenient to public transportation. As we talked about, that was one of the criteria that I looked at. You are right along Market Street, which is where the Market Frankfurt line or the L, the subway, runs right along Market Street. So if you need to hop to a different part of the city, like Old City for work, you could do that extremely easily. Just hop on the Market Frankfurt line, the subway, to get there or potentially a bus or something like that. And green space is obviously gonna be really convenient here with the Rittenhouse Square, that seven acre square park, green space, lots of trees, lots of benches. It's just a great place to relax and enjoy. And you can also get to the Schuylkill River Trail and Park within maybe about a 15 minute walk, just depending on which part of Rittenhouse you're in, maybe a little bit longer, uh, but definitely walkable. And that's a massive open and green space amenity in this city. So you're gonna have a lot of convenient amenities here in Rittenhouse. You'll also have convenient access to a ton of shops. I didn't say that was one of the criteria that I had, but in Rittenhouse, you have the Apple store and other major destinations that you might need access to, but there's a lot of clothing stores, shoe stores, there's just everything here in Rittenhouse. So you have convenient access to a ton. This is really 
the most walkable neighborhood, in my opinion, in all of the city. All right, the next neighborhood on my most walkable neighborhood in all of Philadelphia is Avenue of the Arts. This is the stretch going from City Hall, so right on Broad Street going City Hall down to approximately Washington Ave, just depending on your perspective where it goes and where it ends. But this area of the city is extremely walkable. You've got convenient access to Trader Joe's, the other Trader Joe's, not the one we just talked about. In Rittenhouse, we have a couple here in the city. And then you also have the Sprouts Farmer's Market, which is a really nice place. If you're familiar with Sprouts, a lot of places outside of Philly have it, not everywhere, so you might not be familiar, but it's a great, more of like a kind of natural organic leaning uh, grocery store. It's really, um, really large here and it's, it's great. It's a great amenity uh, for this particular part of the city. And you also are conveniently located to a ton of other restaurants just outside of that, either in Rittenhouse to the west, or if you go east of the Avenue of the Arts, you're in Washington Square West, and there are a ton of restaurants on 12th and 13th Street that are very convenient to walk to if you live in the Avenue of the Arts. Let's talk about public transportation. If you need public transit here, in particular, either the subways, the Broad Street Line or the Market Frankfurt Line, this is a really convenient place to live. In particular, the closer that you are to City Hall, the more convenient your access will be to public transit because at City Hall is where the Market Frankfurt Line, that's what I referred to earlier as the L when we talked about the Rittenhouse area because that goes right through Rittenhouse. The one that goes on Market Street runs right through City Hall that intersects with the Broad Street line, and that goes north and south. So if you're living close to City Hall, in one of the many condos around there, you'll have extremely convenient access to get almost anywhere in a city along the subway system, east and west, north and south, right there at City Hall. So public transportation, extremely convenient here in the Avenue of the Arts. Now, as far as green space, open space, in the health benefits of this particular area, this is gonna be a very dense and urban section of the city. So you will have to walk to either the Rittenhouse Square Park or the Washington Square Park to get a little bit more green space. Now Broad Street's gonna be a very big street and it's gonna feel a bit more open than some of the other streets, but you're just gonna have less green. There's not much green here. So you're gonna to to go over to Rittenhouse Square, which is not far depending on where you're at in the Avenue of the Arts, maybe it's a seven, 20 minute walk and about the same to go to the Washington Square Park, which is approximately the same thing as Rittenhouse, similar square, green space, lots of benches, about seven acres as well as space. Very nice, both are very nice. It's not that far to get to either of them. Uh, you can walk to City Hall, depending on where you're at, pretty conveniently, obviously. And on City Hall, it's not gonna be green space, but it's gonna be open space. You can play pickleball there when it's the weather's nice or in the winter they set up a lot of things like the ice skating rink or the Christmas Village. So a lot of nice outdoor open space type of things to do right here in the Avenue of the Arts. And since this borders Rittenhouse, you'll obviously have convenient access to all the shopping that we talked about earlier as well. And just depending on where you're at in particular, um, section of this neighborhood actually might, might be more convenient to some of those shops than if you were in Rittenhouse. Again, just depending on which particular part of Rittenhouse you were in. And although this was not a criteria, one of the main benefits for living in the Avenue of the Arts is of course the art scene here. That's why it's called the Avenue of the Arts. So if you live here, all of that stuff is extremely convenient and walkable. The Kimmel Center, if you want to see the orchestra, the opera, things like that, the Academy of Music for a play. Um, and a ton of other venues are right here along Broad Street or just some right off of Broad Street that are also very convenient and walkable. So if you love the art scene, this could be a great walkable neighborhood for you to call home. All right, next up we have Washington Square West. Now we just talked about this because it's the one just to the east of the Avenue of the Arts. So you're gonna have similar benefits and amenities of this area, but I would consider it still very walkable because again, you're gonna have convenient access to some of the same grocery stores, but some different ones here. There's a lot of food options, which we've already talked about that are along 13th Street here, which is in Washington Square West. And you can of course walk to the Avenue of the Arts very easily for all of those uh, food options right along Broad Street. So living in Washington Square West is extremely convenient. You could, of course, walk right along to Broad Street to get the Broad Street line, which is a subway system going north and south. 
Um, so just depending on where you're trying to go, this could be a great place for you to be. There's also a number of amazing amenities in this area in addition to restaurants like the vibrant bar scene here. This is where the Gaberhood and Midtown Village are. Some more um, vibrant parts of the city with more young crowd that, that's going out to the bars, restaurants, things like that. The vibe here is going to be a bit more different than Rittenhouse, but it might be what you're looking for. It might be a great vibe that you want to be a part of. And all of that is, of course, walkable from this particular neighborhood. And in case you're wondering, this is right next to the Washington Square Park. That's why it's called Washington Square West. So it's stuff that's west, essentially, of that square. So if you want to be close to that square, if you like the Washington Square more than Rittenhouse Square, which there are pretty major differences, even though that literally is like the same size, the same you know, trees and, and, and benches and things like that, there's a much more low key, mellow, more chill vibe than you're gonna have at the Washington Square versus the Rittenhouse Square. There's a lot more people in Rittenhouse Square, it's more lively, there's just, it's very different. You have to see them and experience them in person. So if you like that vibe more, more low key, more mellow, then living right around that square, could be really good for you. You might like it a lot. I, I really like that particular area. So this area is really walkable, really convenient, extremely close to all these amenities, in particular the restaurant scene, the bar scene, it's a really good area to live in. And if you do like some of the things that are on the east side of Broad, because now we're on the east side of Broad, Rittenhouse was on the west side of Broad, if you like some of the benefits and amenities that are east of Broad Street, like closer access to more of the historical sites that would be an old city. This is not too far of a walk from them. Now, some people don't want to live like right in the historical section, which is fine, but they might really like convenient access to that. So Washington Square West, though a very different vibe, is of course closer to walk to those areas. So if you if you want to be able to go and experience that more often, walk around the historical areas, then living in Washington Square West could be a nice compromise for you. Though, let's talk about our next neighborhood, which is Old City. So if you want to live right in the heart of all of that stuff we just talked about, the historical stuff, the streets, the the museums and things like that, and there's a lot of open space too, which we'll get to in a minute, just that area, very different. It's a very different vibe than everything we've talked about so far. Um, but Old City is definitely walkable. You have a lot of nightlife going on here too. Convenient access to a lot of things that you can walk to. Lots of bars, lots of restaurants and cafes and, and coffee shops and things like that. So it's all walkable here. It's not just tourism in this area. It's not just people coming on vacation that are going to be in Old City. But Old City is a nice livable area. It's not necessarily for everyone. I wouldn't say it's the best neighborhood for families to call home, um, but it's a really nice area in particular if you're a young professional or if you're um, a couple that's a bit more, um, a bit older, you might really enjoy this particular area as well. Just walking around the streets, very nice, very convenient access to Penn's Landing and some of those amenities. And in the future, there's gonna be a lot more amenities in Penn's Landing with all the development going on now. It's not necessarily a destination yet, but I think it will be in 10 years, Penn's Landing that is. Um, but Old City is extremely convenient to get over to Penn's Landing. So you're gonna have a really convenient access to a ton of things here. Uh, Old City is right by Market Street as well, which is again where the public transit line, the Market Frankfurt goes right through. So if you wanna live here, but maybe you're working closer to City Hall or on Market Street in Rittenhouse, you could easily get to that, just hopping on the L, taking a quick train ride, five, 10, 15 minutes, depending on where you're going, to get to work or whatever you're looking for. You're also gonna have access to a lot, a ton of open space here, a lot of green space. In particular, because those historical areas, a lot of that's open. You're just gonna feel that openness there. There's massive green uh, space there, and it's, again, very open. So if you're walking through, you're gonna get tourists, for sure, because a lot of tourists are in that area, but it doesn't, feel like you're in New York City or anything like that. So if that's like your expectation when I say tourists, it's not like that. Now some days are obviously worse than others, but even just walking through there as a local living here, you're still gonna experience more like nature and peace. It's not like there's a ton of noise and activity happening there necessarily. It's a very nice, every time I'm there, it's very nice and walkable whenever I show clients that particular area. It's very nice, very open, very calm. So come down, check it out. It could be a really good area for you to live in, um, but there's also the green space and open space of Penn's Landing. So Penn's Landing is 
basically everything that's facing the Delaware River. So obviously that's gonna be massive and open. Um, but there's a nice Delaware uh, River Trail, which isn't as nice in my opinion as the Schuylkill River Trail, because that has a lot more trees and green space. The Delaware River Trail is basically on the, the road, um, but you at least have nice views looking you know, to the east if you're going up or down trail to see the river and things like that. But it's a really nice area to live and to call home. It's not for everyone, but it's really nice Again, if you kind of fit the demograph or the target um, that I think this uh, this neighborhood in particular draws, it could be a great place for you to call home. And the next and fifth most walkable neighborhood in Philadelphia is Logan Square. Logan Square, in my opinion, is often kind of a neglected, overlooked, not considered neighborhood as often as all the other ones I've mentioned thus far and many others. I think in particular because Rittenhouse is there and that's very popular. And then the art museum, Fairmont area, just to the north of Logan Square or sandwiching Logan Square. It's kind of forgotten. Also, Logan Square is very dense and urban. Comcast has its buildings there, so very tall high-rise office buildings are in Logan Square. So I think because of those dynamics, it's often not considered as like a livable area or an area to even consider. But I think there are a lot of benefits of Logan Square. Now, it's not for everyone, but it is a nice neighborhood. You obviously have convenient access to all of Rittenhouse if it's just above, just north um, of Rittenhouse Square. So you're gonna have convenient access to uh, the park, the restaurants, and all of that, but you're gonna be a little bit more removed. So it's gonna be a little bit more low key, just depending on the area, but generally most of Logan Square is gonna be more low key, more mellow than Rittenhouse. And you're also gonna be really close to the Ben Franklin Parkway and all the amenities of that particular area. So that's the major street that's very open, um, that's gonna run from the city hall to the art museum. So that's gonna be a very, very nice area to be in if you like the openness, the green space of that area. It is gonna have traffic, so it's not like a park, um, but if you walk up and down the sidewalks there or bike, it's, it's enjoyable, it's nice. Uh, it's not getting out for everyone, but if you like the art scene, art museums, there's the art museum, obviously, the Rocky Steps and, and all that. Uh, the fame of that area, but then there's the Barnes Foundation, very popular in the Rodin Museum, and they're building a new, new museum, which is gonna be, I'm not sure the name, but it's like an outdoor uh, and indoor kind of-ish. So if you like art and you like going to those establishments, this could be a really nice area for you to call home. This is very walkable. Um, but you can, of course, get to downtown very easily, very conveniently. Um, so I think it's a good area to call home. You know, just again, depending on what you're looking for, there's gonna be a mix of, mid to kind of high-rise condos in this area, mostly mid to low-rise condos in this area, and uh, townhomes as well. So you're gonna have a mix, you can really pick whatever you're looking for. And you also have convenient access to a couple entry points for the Schuylkill River Trail. And if you wanna go take the trail down to the park in Fittler Square, you can do that as well. But it's it, depending on where you're at in Logan Square, it is very convenient to get to the access point for the trail. So if you like walking, biking, jogging, um, this is a great part of the city to live in. You can also easily take that up to Boathouse Row and see some of the beautiful scene and the scenery in this area. And Logan Square also has so many grocery stores. I think the, the neighborhood has the most grocery stores in all of Center City in particular uh, in its neighborhood. So there's, or just outside the neighborhood, just really depending. But you're very walkable to Trader Joe's, Giant, Whole Foods, um, Target. It's just, there's so many options here um, for groceries. And again, you can easily get to so many restaurants. There aren't a ton, there are some in Logan Square for sure, but just outside, there's a lot more restaurants and, and they're really walkable or if it's to, depending on your perspective, if you don't wanna walk maybe 15 minutes, you might have to hop in an Uber, but very walkable area that many people um, enjoy when they consider it. But again, a lot of people I think don't consider it because you're just kinda like, driving by to get to one particular neighborhood or the other to explore it. And it's kind of like a forgotten area. Again, not for everyone, but I think it is very walkable and that's why I made this list. Now, real quick, before we get to a few other neighborhoods that didn't make my top five, but are honorable mentions and worth talking about, as much as I love making these videos, I love helping people relocate to the Center City Philly area even more. So if you're thinking about relocating here and if you're like most of my clients, you're probably confused on where to live in a city about the safety of a particular neighborhood or honestly, even if the city is right to begin with for you. And I totally understand where you're coming from. You are not alone. Most of my clients were in your shoes. They didn't know where to go. They didn't know where to live. 
Uh, so just reach out to me and I'd love to help you out in your journey. Just shoot me a quick email to chris at mechris.com and let me know what you're looking for. I'm always working with someone like yourself who's trying to figure it all out. All right, let's talk about my honorable mentions now. Some parts of the Fairmont area and the art museum area are extremely walkable. Now, they are walkable kind of in their own right, but I think there's some downsides and they didn't make the top five, but they're very nice areas. Some parts of Fishtown or Northern Liberties uh, are very walkable, but in my opinion, unless you're at a particular uh, section of those areas, there's very limited grocery store access. Now, there are rumors that things are changing, there's gonna be a couple major grocery stores going into those areas, but they're not there now. And until that changes, I wouldn't consider those particular areas that walkable, or at least not according to my criteria. Again, very walkable, lots of benefits of those areas, a ton of restaurants, some of the best restaurants in the city are actually not in Rittenhouse, they're in Fishtown, um, or just around that area but didn't make my list, but it's something for you to consider potentially. And if you're a college student or maybe a recent grad young professional, University City could be a good walkable neighborhood for you to live in. I think there's some downsides to it. Basically, you know, it's University City for a reason, right? A ton of college students. Most people don't necessarily want to live in that environment, but you might, and it could be a great area for you to call home. All right, the other uh, honorable mention here is Spruce Hill. Spruce Hill is in Westville, University City area. And it's a very walkable, very pretty area, depending, in particular, some of the streets that are very, very nice. It's nothing like Center City, it's not in Center City, um, but it is a very nice walkable area that some people really enjoy. Um, can be access to a lot of things, but it didn't make the list for a couple of reasons. And Patrunk Square is another one that you could uh, consider. Uh, there's some downsides to that particular part of the city, in my opinion, but it's very walkable. A ton of uh, restaurants are in that area and co coffee shops and things like that. So it could um, be a great place for you to call home. Now the list could keep going on and on. So much of Philly is walkable. It honestly surprises most of my clients that are relocating here how walkable this city is. If you have any questions about a particular neighborhood, just you know, don't hesitate to reach out. I would love to help you out. And let me know in the comments below which neighborhood you think is the most walkable. And if you want to learn more about my favorite outdoor amenity in Center City, Philly, click here. Just click on the image, check it out, and enjoy.